Hey everyone, welcome back to another episode of Bravely Second. So we just got here. This is this is Ainshine from the first game, so this is super intriguing to me. Let's go in and see what they have for us. This is Ainshine. This this isn't El Campus. This is Ainshine. Can't tell me otherwise. The dormitory is just down the street. There should be someone there to tend to Master Kami Izumi's wounds. You sure know your way around town, you? I would hope so. After all, I'm an El Campus alumnus. That would explain it. Now let's keep moving. Whoops! Excuse me! Ow, ow, ow! Are you blind, woman? You have some gall to obstruct the path of Pudgius Abysmal, five-star scholar. Not a single star on you. Ha! I figured you for a simpleton the moment I laid eyes on you. Well, don't you have something to say for yourself? Fine, I shall deign to overlook your transgressions this time. Now be gone from my sight, wench. Alright, chubby cheeked punk. We're blowhard. Yeah, not the most pleasant fellow. What was that five-star business he was going on about? You saw the five stars on his hat, didn't you? Everyone in El Campus is assigned a star ranking representing their status in school and society. With five stars, he's rather high in the ranks. Hmm. I guess stars and common courtesy don't always go hand in hand. <laughs> Tell me about it. If all the high-ranking types are such insufferable jerks, you can keep them away from me. Why, well, I'm sure they're not all so bad. Now, let's get Master Kami Izumi to the dormitory. How many, uh, what, how many stars does our boy... You have is my question. Does he have six, five? Okay, so we know I need to go there, but first, I want to check out what we can buy from the stores. Okay, so okay, I don't want to buy anything from there. Ethers would be useful, but slightly expensive here. Okay, these would be better, but here's what we're gonna do before we buy any of the our equipment. I need to go check out the magic first because the magic can tend to be expensive. A cure for now. We won't be able to use it for a little while. Um, let's buy these two. And then those are these. These are the time mages, right? Okay, let's not buy any of those. We'll we'll have to come back. Those are all super, super expensive. And we don't even have half those classes yet. So let's focus on what we have now. A broadsword would be better for... Oh, a broad axe. Buy one shield for a person. Let's see. Is this stuff any better? Honestly, this wouldn't be terrible. So let's just buy a Legion Helm for Adia. Buy three of these for everyone else. Oh, this would be better for everyone here. Cat, let's buy three of those. I guess let's buy four of those. We don't have enough money for that. Okay, so now we don't even have enough money for any of that. Okay, so I guess... Oh, there goes all of our money, but hopefully we get some better stuff here, so... Um, let's see, I don't know this, right? A lot of money spent. <clears throat> hopefully that'll help us out a little bit. And like I said, we'll have to go and buy that magic later. Uh, you see, uh, I... Hold on, let's read that again. Um, man, life in our campus is the best, as long as you've got enough stars. What? You see, I bought my stars. Haha, <laughs> I pray you won't judge me, sir. Some people are gifted with smarts, and others with perseverance. My God-given gift is simply to be rich. That. So he bought his stars? Okay, well that's a little... Bro, you bought your stars. What's... Whatever. Anyway, let's go ahead and save our game. And let's continue on with what we were doing. Checked out the town, spent basically all of our money. And again, we'll have to come back for that magic.
Martha, what, it's wonderful to see you again. It's me, you, you, Jenny Olja. Oh, you, what a pleasant surprise. This is Martha, the house mother. Martha, these are my friends. A pleasure to meet you all. What brings you back to our campus, you? This gentleman here, he was wounded in battle and... Oh my heavens, let's get you into bed. You, be a dear and fetch me a poultice. Right. And there. That should do it. Some good bed rest and he'll be back on his feet in no time. Whew. Oh, thank goodness. That's a load off my mind. Oh, Martha, how can we ever thank you? <laughs> think nothing of it. I'm just happy to see you again. You'll be staying for a while, yes? Well, oh, uh, how could I forget? You haven't seen a flying castle in these parts, have you, Martha? Why, I most certainly did. It caused quite the stir here in town. <gasps> what, do you remember which way it went? Oh, I'm afraid not. It vanished from sight so quickly. Let's ask around. There must be someone in town who can tell us something. Cool. Oh, hello? Can we find any treasures up here? Any treasures around these parts? What a shameful defeat. And on that note, did any of you happen to see a figure in green? If you do encounter him, I, I ask you to inform me. I owe that man my thanks. In green? Okay. Where's the treasure at, bruh? Fireplace over here? Okay, there's one. Okay, um... Alright, well, let's head out. I don't know where the other treasure is, but whatever. Not that big of a deal. So you lived in that dormitory, you? For four whole years. Our campus is like a second home to me. The land of learning has a different sort of atmosphere, but it's a great place to live. Mavilu. If I only could have met you in your student days, Hugh. <laughs> well, yeah, I haven't really changed all that much. Land of learning. Huh. I guess there must be a big school around here, right? There sure is. Or rather, I should say that the city itself makes up one giant school. Anything and everything about life in our campus revolves around study and students. For example... Well, let's see. Almost the entire population of the city is made up of students, faculty, administrators, and school employees. And look at the buildings around you. Bookstores, stationery stores, cafeterias, all catering to students. Wow. So it's not a school built to serve the city, but a city built to serve the school. Exactly, sir. I couldn't have put it better myself. You? You! What did you study while you were here? Well, just the usual liberal arts. You know, biology, physiology, psychology, theology, immunology, polemology. What else was there? Oh, right! Historical phantasmology, military musicology, alchemic cytology, political monology... That's a lot of ology. Holy moly! It's a wonder you can fit all that in your head. I just enjoyed studying, I guess. De plaisante! You say you liked studying? For the first time, I feel like I don't understand you at all. Go figure. And here I had you pegged for one of us. One of... what do you mean? What am I, then? Why aren't you answering? You're a spoiled egghead. What's that look for? Come on, give me a break. <sighs> anyway, we came here to ask about the Skyhold, right? So, let's get asking. Indeed. What? Are they mad that he's educated? I mean, if he lived in a royal house like that, I'm not surprised. Is there anything in this corner? Nope. Go over here. Anything to steal? Wait. 
The oasis in the Harina region is drying up. It must be an evil plot by the Kaiser Oblivion. You mean how it used to be in the last game? Uh, yeah, use that to purify the undead. It's a slice of. Okay. Fair enough. Look who's back. The sheer nerve! A three star ninny like yourself dares disobey a direct order from your superior? But. Is that Rifa? A friend? Rifa was an underclassman when I was here. Hey, you! The Bismol family owns half the land in our campus, you know. The school's endowment depends on Daddy's contributions. And still, you have the gall to refuse me? Hmm? I, I just think you should do your own assignments. Besides, I have my own research to attend to. Are you talking back to me, you three-star scrub? I'll have you expelled! Leave me alone! Rifa... <laughs> Not only a simpleton, but a coward as well. I'll just have to find someone else. A one or two star who knows her place. Nagurgur! They ought to pop him one in that mealy kisser! Wait, idiot! So, who gave that puffed up booba five stars anyway? Originally, stars were awarded purely for academic achievements. These days, though, there are many factors. Lineage, for example. Lineage? Yeah, wealthy families make generous donations to the school. In return, the children of those families receive extra stars. So, it's a token of gratitude? Uh, something like that. The point is, a student's ranking doesn't necessarily have to do with their scholastic aptitude. Some students use their stars as an excuse to bully those they see as beneath them. Sounds like a silly system to me. Perhaps it is. I should go check on Rifa. I'll bet she's gone back to the Spire. Just like old times. Okay, that is where we had them. Five stars or five hundred. Why can't that oaf just leave me alone? He couldn't be more different from the five star gentleman I used to know. <sighs> Rifa! Ah, uh, you! Oh, you! I am so happy to see you! Whoa! Rifa! Rifa, settle down. Arrête, arrête! Just a minute! What do you think you're doing to you? Uh, oh my. My most sincere apologies. Bro, you's got the chicks up on this I couldn't town, bro. Myself. Just when I was thinking of you, here he is. So you was a five star? <sighs> thinking of you? W what do you mean, thinking? Pegius was bullying me, like he always does, and before I knew it, my mind was drifting to happier days with you. Happier days? With you? Man alive, Magnolia, calm down! You was always so kind to us. He was a five-star, but he never judged others by the number of stars on their caps. If only more five-stars could be like him. Instead of that insufferable Pegius. Wow. You were a five-star student too, you? Oh! A five-star knight in shining armor? That, that's that's not funny. Rifa, I couldn't help but hear you mention your research. What are you studying these days? Oh, I'm glad you asked. Lately, I can't get enough of Ballology. Ball? The study of balls? Huh? 
Like the round, bouncy ones? Or... Or like, uh, you know. <laughs> Allow the three-star biologist, Rifa to explain. <clears throat> oh, and feel free to take notes. Balls are monstrous supernatural entities, lords of monsters, so to speak, possessed of unspeakable power. Or so the legends say. No one had ever actually seen a ball, so they were thought to be mere fantasy. Until just over one year ago. A mass of living organism came hurtling down from the heavens, crashing here on Luxendark and causing great destruction across the land. From its resemblance to the monsters of legend, people came to call it a ball. Ever since, scholars in Alcampus campus have been working tirelessly to learn more about this fearsome entity. Whoa, how frightening. So what did this ball do after it came crashing down here? As far as we can tell, it hasn't moved a muscle since. Scholars believe that it must be sleeping. Doesn't sound like a problem to me. What's there to study? You suggest that we simply sit by and do nothing? <laughs> Preposterous! The balls of legend are horrific creatures possessed of unspeakable power. If such a creature were to waken, the entire world would be in danger. Well then, it sounds to me like somebody should take care of this thing while it's still sleeping. Do you know where we can find this ball? Through my research, I've been able to pinpoint the precise location of impact. But it's a very dangerous place, you see. Far too dangerous for a student like myself to investigate alone. I see. It's a bit of a detour, but why don't we go investigate this ball together? If what Rifa says is true, the threat is too great to ignore. T truly I would be happy to take you there. You do not mind if I go with you, yes? It would mean so much for my research, so very, very much. All right, if you insist, lead the way. Okay, to the ball we go. <sighs> School days with you. So, Rifa, you must have uh, all kinds of stories about you student days, huh? Most certainly. You and Jan were always the talk of the school. They were frightfully popular. He was. I mean, they were? Tell me more. Jan had a wild air about him, and he was such a swordsman. The girls in the upper classes were especially fond of him. When he graduated early and left us, you could hear the cries of despair echoing throughout campus. Then he went off to drive a gang of bandits out of Ein Anchheim. There were quite a few cries of despair there, too. Enough about his name. Tell us more about you. Er, of course, the look, in, the look in her eyes. It's as frightening as a ball. Let's see now. You was... Come on, Rifa. Some things are better left unsaid. Don't worry, Magnolia. I'll handle this one. You get the dirt. Hey, Adia, let me go. Ooh, my cheeks don't stretch that far. Merci. Uh, now that we've taken care of that little obstacle, why don't you spill all the juicy details to Big Sis here, hmm? Yes, with pleasure. Just don't kill me. Well, you was a star student and always kind to others. He was quite popular here. Though I hear he had problems dealing with older women. He what? Especially there are... Uh, he was hopeless around them. But he was always helping us underclassmen, discussing books with us in the library or helping with our assignments. We all thought he was just the best. Er, is something the matter? Oh, n nothing. Nothing at all. Oh, idea. Give it, give it a break already. Oh, what's wrong, Magnolia? Sniff. It's nothing. Nothing at all. All right. Let's keep moving. Let's go get that ball. We haven't checked on the moon in a little while. I think it's still, I think it's still doing its thing here. Yeah, we don't have any workers at the moment, so. All right. Let's continue what we were doing here. Move my cursor out of the way. Looks like we have another little story part here. So tell me, you, what's our campus famous for? Well, let's see. It has the largest student population in Luxembourg. Oh, and the largest library. I don't think you understood the question. <laughs> uh, what Idia meant to say is, what sort of food is our campus famous for? Oh, uh, I see. Well, our campus is a city of students, so. 
Oh, how many times do I have to say it? I don't care about... I was getting there. Because there are so many students, our campus is famous for one-handed snacks. One-handed? Well, look around. See how everyone has a book in one hand and food in the other? So students can eat without interrupting their studies. Precisely, sir. Everything from sandwiches and rice balls to edible cups of curry rice. But most famous of all is... Ooh, right over there, that street vendor. Al Campo noodles. Noodles? Now we're talking. I'll be right back. Wait, what does that sign say? Sold out. Sadness. Oh, and I was all ready to nosh on some noodles. Kiss <gasps> What is this strange feeling? This sticky, ever so slightly irritating sensation. <gasps> it's the summon guy from last game. Who? What is that? You? What is this thing? You? I told you, idiot. There's there's nothing I can do. Sold out means sold out. Murger -gur. Come closer. <laughs> you. Well, how about that smart and spicy spirit? That sounds just as tasty. Um, um, I wouldn't if I were you, sir. I ate there once, and... Oh, the less we say about that, the better. Well, what do you want from me? <laughs> Take this? Persevere, and thine efforts will be rewarded. Glory be to the chomp! <laughs> hey, Magnolia! Huh? What's wrong? You're as white as a ghost. The Owl Man. He, he gave this to me. Uh, owl Man? This shabby old sack? Of scissors, cotton, binding. Brushes and a note. Chomp crafts. Wait, there's something written on the back. Ooh, he gads, what a mess. Greetings, friends to the chomp. Wield the chomp crafts within to create chompers galore. Send forth chompers to gain greater chomp and upgrade your chomp crafts. Craft more and more chompers that the village of Chompshire may flourish and the flame of Chomp burn anew. Is this like a second city we get to rebuild? Glory! Glory to the Chomp! May the Chomp chomp on forevermore! <laughs> I think I'm more confused than ever. I guess he wants us to make plush Chompers. Look, there's an instruction manual of sorts. Making toys? Huh, that could be fun. I say we give it a shot. Yeah, me too. Chompers? Chomping on forevermore? Quel horreur. Um, to get a breather from adventuring to make plus chompers or bring up, uh, it will tirelessly as long as you keep your 3DS open. Sue, so you make you can make it by stitching up. Okay. Okay, let's check it out. So if we go here, oh, we we had these enemies from last game. Um, as you watch your, they'll make and fill the pockets on our screen. Touch south to wit to ship all the toys in a pack and earn currency, and one day you might become a chomp billionaire. Okay. So, okay, and I'm guessing we'll be able to upgrade this. 
So sell efficiency one, sell price, pace. So we have 20 seconds per chomper, and it looks like we have a 4% rare rate. So what happens there? So we stick that. Once we have a chomper done, we put it in there. Okay. What is all this? Okay. Assets. Okay. So, oh, so once we have enough CP, tenth up for one pig. We have to. We're gonna have to get really good at this to be able to make that. So if we sell these. Okay. So if we sell those, how much are the? Can we buy? Okay. You can earn special bonuses for your packs depending on what's in them. For example, full, every slot filled, tricolor, three rare types, all green, all normal toys. Tool, er, okay, so we, we can, okay. Cool, so we can like, per let's just purchase some upgrades right away here. Okay, that's 5,000. How much is this next? 500? Okay, let's go ahead and get this first. Okay. Anyway, let's go ahead and get out of this game for now. We'll just sell what we have, I guess. Okay. Let's go on to our main... I like that, though. I like that. Chomp, chomp away. I love... Definitely leave that on. The mouth goes here and the arms go... Are those legs? This is trickier than it looks. I'll say, is it really worth the trouble? Why, of course it is. Just look at how cute they are and so fluffy and cuddly. Wait, Magnolia, how did you make that? Come on, let me see. Whoa, watch where you're pointing those scissors, Adia. Anyway, I'm sure we'll all pick it up in no time. You got it, sir. Let's give it all and go for the gravy. Indeed, go for the gravy. Um, let's see, how's our little moon doing? Man, still a while, because this one takes an hour. Oh, all these are like an hour long. I forgot how long these take. Can we take like, just like a few people off here? Because I want some other things to also be worked on. Let's just take a few of those. Let's take a few from everywhere because I want some other things. Oh, this one, we should leave them on there. And then I think this one is... We could probably take a few off here. Let's go ahead and make this one like a two hour there. Because I want... You know, let's, let's put on some like... Let's make things at least like... Near an hour or like 45 minutes, but I want to I want to get these things. Okay, we can leave that there. Ooh, Phoenix Downs, we need that. So let's make that one pretty short here. Whatever this is, some more moves. Make that. Okay, then what? Oh, I didn't mean to get out of that. What are we missing? Just stick whatever we have left in here. Okay, cool. Enough about the sun. Look for blue markers. Those are. Uh, side stories, yep, just like the other game. So, who knows? Well, I guess we have to go to the blue first, right? Or, I want to go to this blue first because it's a side quest. Oh, I'm stupid. I have to go over here, right? I go through the back. I didn't even see that little blue portion there at first. Okay, well, let's go take care of that ball. We're here in the sands. Is that... Okay, let's kill these guys. Yeah, we're back at... This is where Ayn Sham's Desert used to be. That's that's the wind temple right there. Let's call it quits for now. I don't want to. I don't want to do anything too crazy. Yeah, that's literally the water temple right there. Is there anything down here I can explore? No. Can we go inside? Temple of what? So the temples are still around. Okay, let's go ahead and give it a save in case we do something crazy here. Gonna do a little save. Halt, traveler. I cannot allow you entrance to the altar of wind. I'm Eugenie Olja of the Crystal Guard. I am afraid I have strict orders to allow none save Pope Agnes herself to pass. I'm Idia Lee, Agnes's best friend. Doesn't that count for something? I'm afraid not. Please be on your way. Okay, this is Tiz. Agnes's boyfriend. That's enough, I think. Let's be on our way. Yes, 
Rules are rules, after all. We're leaving, Idia. Okay. So we are not allowed in the temples. That's interesting. We'll probably be back, but... It's interesting that we're not allowed in the temples there. Okay. Well... There's the oasis. And then over there was the thief's cave. Okay, let's... Before we go to the oasis, what's in the thief's cave? Okay, we literally can't go in there. Okay, fair enough. But guys, I will end the episode off right here before we go in the chasm here, guys. Thanks for watching. If you did enjoy, make sure to like and comment as it puts on the channel. And I'll see you guys later. God bless, and goodbye.